but certainly not least, Eric Gray is here with us. Um, hit the raise your hand function and we'll call on you. Questions for Eric. We'll start with Rob Lewis. Eric, just for you and the offense as a whole, what was your biggest focus during the bye week, something you felt like you really need to get better at to have the success you want to in the final five games? Um, we really just wanted to go back to the basics and start over with uh, just getting all the execution down, make sure we're executing at a high level, make sure we're everyone knows what they're doing. Everyone uh, from the O-line to the quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, tight ends, everyone knows what they're doing in basic run game, basic pass game, different things like that. Blake Topmeyer. Eric, how would you evaluate uh, this team's performance through the, the first five games of the season and, and what areas um, do you think you guys need to improve on in, in these next five games? Um, I think I think we've we've done a we've done a good job. Um, we've done a good job from the start. We just have to we got to learn how to finish games. We got to learn. Um, we got to play 60 minutes every single game. Um, but like I said, it's not a five game fight. This is a 10 game fight. We're here for the rest of the five games and go out there and play hard. Patrick Brown, then Gustavo. Eric, you guys last season obviously kind of pulled off a sort of an in-season turnaround to get things going in, in the right direction. Obviously, this is a different team, a different season, with different circumstances, but is there, is there anything you guys can take from last season uh, and maybe apply it to uh, the last half of this season? Most definitely. You know, we've been in this spot before, so we know the recipe to make that in-game transit, that in-season transition. And I think there's a lot we can look at from last season and see where we were at after uh, the little change in our team last year. And we, this is the same thing happened this year. We had to sit down and we talked about that this is our team and we have to go change the culture and we have to make this turnaround. And I think we're going to do it again. Gustavo. Eric, you have uh, four uh, freshmen running backs. Why do you see them this off week? A lot of, you know, Coach Pruitt and the players spoke, spoke out about young players developing more this uh, week. How do you see the running backs, especially the freshmen? Yeah, I think this week was a great week for them just to those guys that didn't really know everything just to get just to get back on track and give them more time to get better, give them more chances to perfect their craft, perfect their skills and learn what it takes to be great in college. David Pascal. Eric, the first five games you played against teams you played last year that Tennessee plays every year. What? Uh, how is that different with Arkansas? Have any? Is it? Do you know much about their personnel compared to the teams you you, you know see more often? Well, actually, coming from Memphis, a lot of guys go to Arkansas from uh, from Memphis, so I do know a couple of the guys that go there. But watching them on film, they they are a great team. They've got a lot of momentum. Um, I think it's going to be a great matchup between us and Arkansas. Being from Memphis, you know, Arkansas had had a really long losing streak coming into this year. So how how surprised are you and what do you see that's different and why are they so much better this year? Um, I think they just they just play hard. I think Coach Pittman uh, give a lot of credits to him for going over there as first year head coach and uh, turning the program around. I think they've caught some momentum. And like I said, I think it's going to be a great matchup. Ben McKee, then back to Blake. Eric, y'all's uh, longest rush on the season is just 22 yards. Is that is that something where you, you really focused in over the bye week trying to, to break that long run? Do, do you feel close? Do you feel like you just kind of run into some unfortunate situations there, tripping over your own feet or things of that nature? Definitely working on that. That's definitely stuck in my mind. Um, you got to make big plays. And that's definitely what I worked on over the over the break, just focusing on making big plays, keeping my feet going. And I think those big plays are coming for sure. Eric, uh, regarding those uh, freshman running backs, uh, D. Beckwith seems to be a guy that maybe is progressing along from from his uh, preseason injury and is getting close. So what do you think he could provide to the, the running back rotation? You know, when he gets his turn to get out there. Um, he's he's a very hard worker. He's very coachable. Um, I think he provides. He's a bigger back. Uh, he's a big big um, big guy. Definitely provide those hard nosed yards that. Um, those hard nosed yards that you need sometimes. And then you, you mentioned, you know, Memphis guys, several Memphis guys end up at Arkansas. 
Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you had an offer for them, but how, how involved were they in, in your recruitment? And, and uh, you know, did you give any, any thought about Arkansas during that time? Yes, definitely. Arkansas was uh, definitely a part of my recruitment. Um, I thought about going there a lot, but just didn't things didn't work out and I came to the best place. Patrick Brown. Eric, kind of following up on the, the sit down you, you said you guys had as a team, what was the, the tenor and maybe the tone of, of that message that you guys had? Uh, the tone of that message was just, hey, look, everybody, this is our team. Um, we got to go out there and we got to play hard. Everyone um, was just basically saying that everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to get on the same page and go out there and just have fun. You know what I'm saying? It's fun when you win and everybody wants to go out there and win. It was just making sure that everyone was getting on the same page and saying it's going to take hard work, but we know the recipe to do it. Trey Wallace. Hey, Eric, what, what was it like for you to be able to, to take a break, even if it was for a day and a half, two days, get back home, maybe see some family, some friends, something like that, and kind of just refresh the brain a little bit and get back into football mode? What was that like for you personally? Uh, me personally, it was very good to be able to go home and see my family. My sister actually just graduated from um, – just got her master's. So that was good to go back and celebrate with her and just to see all my family, see all my friends, and just kind of hit the reset button a little bit. Any other questions for Eric? All right. Thank you, Eric. All right, reminder, the schedule for the rest of the week tomorrow is an off day. Uh, we'll have photos and video of